So we're doing the Unconventional Life vlog um, weekly. Okay. Yep. And basically that's, that's covering the life. So coming to New York, starting business here, everything that goes with doing what I'm doing. guys, 27th of September today. Welcome to The Unconventional Life, episode three. Three already, it's going really quickly. Uh, today, action-packed. We're um, going out, visiting Claude at Vayner, which would be great, and uh, a few people coming in to visit, a couple of um, internal things that I'm working on, but just really excited to have you along for the ride today. So let's have a great day. How are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> I know Rock you are. Rolling. Yeah, I got a ton of energy. What up, guys? <laughs> doing well. Hey, camera. Yeah. Welcome to the vlog. Fernando. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jason. Nice to meet you, man. I kept having people like ask me the question: Tell me about your unconventional life, or will you be on my podcast um, to talk about your unconventional life? And yeah. I was like, Well. What's so unconventional? This is my life. I don't yeah. seek unconventional, but I but I understand that because of. You know, I think probably a lot from the personal situation of having my having kids and like coming and doing this, and then they're not coming over until later, and um, you know, doing these things that I guess to many think, how, how do you make that work? So basically, there's three things that I'm focusing. One is the the vlog, which is a you know big part of sharing, and and you know what's so interesting. So the first one went live on Sunday night, on Monday morning in Australia, and I wrote to the guys, and I spent three hours yeah. the next morning responding to like messages from a lot from people I don't know that have been following and I saw some of the posts. yeah and they just, and they're like doing these things and getting inspired I was like wow you just never know who's watching you don't know who you're helping I was really um, yeah I felt like this is good this is good stuff then then there's what's next PX which is a consulting firm and ultimately that's working with fast growth small to medium business 10 to 50 staff focusing on high level people performance. And then I really want to build out my speaking. I, I was doing uh, a little, well, you know, I don't know whether it's a little or a lot of speaking in Australia, but I've never really pushed it. And so being here, we're putting some focus into doing that. So they're the three things that I've come here to focus on. And I just, you know, like, I just want to do the stuff that I love doing yeah. and have a great time and be around awesome people like yourself and, you know, these guys. And, you know, just learning so much. And you know how important it is to have the right energy around you and, you know, just positive and going for it. Like, I feel here that there's no ceiling. You can really, everyone's open to like, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. you can do that. Yeah, let's do that. Give it a shot. Go yeah. Right, try right. Yeah, no one cares. It's, I, I love that. And so I'm, you know, having a lot of, I'm having a heap of fun. And I think that's a huge, huge focus for entrepreneurs is being able to pivot and you've taken like some extraordinary risks which is great mm. like risk management and just dealing with that yeah is incredible a lot of people spend their times thinking about what they want to do yeah while you're like you're on the you're, you're on the court mm. you know, you're on the dirt you're like grinding it quoting Gary Vee like I see you every day yeah trying to create something awesome yeah and like I think because I learn what I'm doing I think that's the problem that stops people. They're like, I've got this idea, I want to do this thing, so now I'm going to work it all out. I'm going to work out exactly how it's going to all work. And you can't possibly do that because you don't know until you start, until you start. like even co like coming here and starting a business. If I, had, if I had actually done the appropriate preparation for that and looked at everything I needed to do, I would have gone, you know, who would do this? This is yeah. But being here, I just had to make it happen. And I think that like, you, people have got to stop thinking. Like, you've got to stop thinking. You've got to do. Because when you do, then you learn, oh, this is what I need to do, or this is the next step. Yeah, that, I really want to tell people to stop thinking and just do. And it will all play out the way yeah. that it's meant to. And I so that's why I like, process. exactly. And like, who knows where this is going to go? Like who, like, who knows? I mean, you have your vision. You have your vision and your goals of what you want to achieve. But ultimately, like, 
who knows if you just go with it and then things pop up and you have conversations and then people pop out of the blue and want to meet with you and think like I could never have planned that if I'd written it all out before I jumped so no. I mean you're the same majority of the people out there are sitting in jobs or relationships or living somewhere that they don't actually want to be and they think that they can't get out the thing is perspective. yeah it's just like there's a lot of things that have to go wrong in my life and I would like for it to be an actually bad situation yeah so I like like this can end and another client can end and so, like, just a couple tragic things happen but like there's no stopping you from like point zero to like the next one yeah unless you're in like the most dire situation but there's like not a lot of situations where you're like held back especially in a creative group um, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I went to a mastermind and like something's just ringing in my bell and this gentleman Dan Silva said something that really resonated. He goes, when I was like thinking of what to do, you know, should I go into e-com, should I do this? I really thought about it and if I lost everything, worst case scenario, I would end up in my mom's couch. And I love my mom. <laughs> and in my head I was like, I say love my mom. <laughs> that's not that bad. So, yeah. That's not that bad. Literally, through stats, because I have apps that check all these social media, my mom is my number one fan. Yeah. It's worse to kind of be stuck. Yeah. You know? That is, you know what? That's and, like, and, you know, oh, and, and, yeah, 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 and. And you know what? This is the message. This is the message we need to be putting out there is work out what's the worst thing that could happen. Mm. And is it actually that bad? Because once you realise that it's actually not that bad, like going and, you know, staying on your mum's couch or, you know, whatever, downgrading your beautiful big home or getting rid of your fancy cars or whatever, the worst thing that can happen, then you go, huh, that's not so bad. I'm going give it, to give it a go. Give it a go. And then people will give it a go. I just want people to, like, give things a go. They're yeah. dreams, you know. Energy is through the roof after meeting with Fernando. Whoa, what a guy. Like, I'm, you know what, I'm, I'm just so grateful for the people I'm getting to spend time with at the moment. It's just, it's just blowing my mind. The guys behind the camera included. Um, so anyway, we're off, and now, now we're off to VaynerMedia to catch up with Claude. Oh, I love this woman more than life itself. She's got the biggest heart. Her position title is actually Chief Heart Officer at VaynerMedia, and she is all heart and I just can't wait to see her and give her a big cuddle. So we're all going to get on the subway and go and do that and um, you know as usual I'm just having an awesome, awesome day. Let's do it. Yeah, I was just wondering about that. Maybe. Hi, Hi. again. Hi. How's the job? Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's going well. You yes. loving it? Yeah, I do. Hi. Yeah. Oh my god. Hi. Guys. <laughs> We just came here to put in barrage. Oh <laughs> yeah, we just came here for a conference just, too. For the whole day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here to see Claude. I just always love being at Vayner Media. Like as soon as you get here, you just feel great. Like there's just cool stuff happening. The people are incredible. Every single person you meet here is just awesome. And um, yeah, so I just love being. I love being here. But even better, I get to catch up with Claude today, which is the best. So yeah. Hi. Oh, life's better when I see you. Oh. Hi, babe. Hi. Hey, I'm mm. Jason, nice to meet What's you. What's up? How are you doing? Doing well. Are you okay if the camera sits in there for the speed? I think maybe 
you yesterday in the media. Yes, hi, I'm Lou. Better be Lou. Like Claude, how Such are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sel. So, how, how are you? Doing well, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. of the 27th of September vlog 03. I'm actually finding it difficult to remember what we've done today because it's been so awesome. But we're at Vayner, just wrapped up talking with Claude. So my heart is full and I feel totally fueled and saw some people, the Vayner team, which is always great. Awesome day. You guys, Helen, Corey, Jason are the best. Like seriously, the best. Like I love you guys. You're making this so enjoyable. I'm going to go and get my eyelashes done. Bye!